As a breastfeeding mom of a newborn, you will go through periods when your baby wants to nurse constantly. And this is called cluster feeding. It's normal, it's natural, it's difficult, and that's why I wanted to make this video. Hi, I'm Genevieve Holland, the woman behind MamaNatural.com, the number one natural pregnancy and parenting brand. If you have a new baby, I've got a great free email series for you that tracks baby's developmental milestones and delivers simple, natural tips to help you and baby thrive. Sign up at MamaNatural.com slash updates. Okay, so what is cluster feeding? This is a time when baby wants to nurse constantly. They will literally latch onto your breast every 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes even more frequently. It can happen any time of the day, but usually more in the afternoon and evening, or sometimes it just happens constantly. And it can last for a day or two, or even up to a week. Now, when a baby wants to cluster feed, it's usually when they are going through a growth spurt. So because they're growing so much, they actually need more breast milk from you. So they need to support themselves and their nutritional demands. Now, it may seem like your baby latches on, nurses for a few minutes, and latches off then comes back on, nurses for a couple minutes, and then on and off and on and off, and they seem frustrated like there isn't enough breast milk, but just know that this is normal. As long as their diaper output is strong, this back and forth and back and forth and hyperstimulation of your breast is good because what this is doing is triggering your breast to produce more milk. Now, we have found that there are patterns when cluster feeding tends to happen. Sometimes include day two of life, weeks two to three, weeks four to six, and at three months. So as you can see, this happens more in the earlier part of baby's life. So now let's talk about how we can support ourselves and our baby during this trying time. The first is to set up a nursing station. This is a place where you can go to a comfortable chair, have maybe a little footstool, lots of pillows. You wanna have a stash of water bottles filled with water, snacks, nipple cream, maybe a noisemaker. Just have all these soothing tools at your disposal. The next thing you can do is try to keep baby as calm and relaxed as possible because they can get real frustrated and kind of worked up. So the way you can do this is nurse them while you're rocking or swaying them. You can use a noise machine that makes peaceful noises. You wanna avoid bright lights or loud noise or too much stimulation. Another thing you can do is nurse skin to skin. That's where you take off your shirt and baby takes off their shirt. And what that does is it boosts both of your levels of oxytocin, which is a very calming, relaxing, and beautiful hormone that will help both of you stay calm. The next tip is be flexible. As hard as cluster feeding is, it's best just to surrender to the whole process versus trying to fight it. So forget about the household chores for a couple days, lay in bed, sleep when baby sleeps, have someone else make the meals. You gotta really support yourself during this time. This is also a time where you wanna take care of your breasts. So consider going braless for a couple days. Use nipple ointment after every nursing session. You also can use warm compresses, which can be really soothing to your breasts. And you also can rotate your breastfeeding positions so that different parts of the nipple are getting stimulated. Eat well and be hydrated. This is the time to order healthy takeout, okay? Because I don't want you in the kitchen cooking when you're cluster feeding, but you do need the calories. So when you are nursing like this, you are burning up to 500 calories a day just from breastfeeding alone. That's the equivalent of running an hour a day. So be sure you're eating a lot and you're also drinking plenty of fluids because this is a huge time where you can get dehydrated. So you want to shoot for eight to 10 cups of spring water a day, plus additional teas and other helpful beverages. You also can get professional help. If you're feeling like your baby's just constantly in this cluster feeding pattern, or you're seeing that they're not gaining weight, or maybe their diaper output isn't as strong as you would like, this is an excellent time to reach out to an IBCLC. She's gonna look for things like a tongue tie or a lip tie. She'll look at his latch. He'll help, she'll help you solve what's going on with your breastfeeding relationship. You also can look into La Leche League or Breastfeeding USA. These are free organizations that support breastfeeding mamas. This is also a great time to practice baby wearing. If you feel like you can never leave baby's side because they constantly wanna be near you and on the breast, put them in your baby carrier. Babies can actually nurse when they're in this position and you can get things done, your hands will be free, and you also can just practice that close bonding time. Lean on family and friends. This is a time when you need your partner to chip in some more. They need to be helping clean up the house, they need to be help with cooking. Maybe you have a family member who can bring over a hot meal or a friend or a neighbor. Reach out to your network of support and get help during this trying time. And finally, if you're a new mom and you feel like your baby just is always cluster feeding 24 seven, 
all the time and there are no breaks, this is a clue that something else is going on. So is baby gaining weight? What does their diaper output look like? Does baby have a fever? Does baby have a lip or tongue tie? Are you overproducing or underproducing milk? These are all things to look into because it's super important that you and baby are thriving. But for most of us, cluster feeding is just a natural progression of baby's development. It's a trying time, but you will get through it. I hope this video is helpful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. And head on over to mamanatural.com slash updates and sign up for my free baby emails. Each week you'll get personalized message that tracks baby's development plus you'll get natural evidence-based resources for you and baby finally check out my baby care course at mamanaturalbaby.com it features a holistic pediatrician an ibclc certified lactation consultant and a community of new moms get all that info at mamanaturalbaby.com